Hi out there, it's me, Eloise, and today's video is brought to you by the number 57, which is how many days since the last time I filmed one of these. Let's take today to talk about what the heck I've been up to in the last 57 days. Hope y'all have been more productive than I have. The first half of this video, I'll share with you what I was up to in March and April. The second half, I'll talk about May and June and a couple of changes that I'm planning to implement to try and get some consistency because that was the word of the year for 2024. And so far, it really should have been inconsistency because then I would have nailed it. Um, but you know, we're only in May. So if I start being consistent now, I will be consistent for the majority of 2024 and that will count as a win, right? Right. March started off with a trip to Las Vegas to see my best friend for a week. She just had her second baby in January, so I had so much fun getting to spend some time with her. Unfortunately, I did not write as much as I thought I would or wished I would because we were doing a lot of parenting and I was helping with the house and working at the same time. Time with her was more important to me than sitting up in the guest room writing. I got back from Las Vegas on the 8th of March and spent the next week kind of recovering with getting back into the swing of things at home. I can't really recall what happened in the second half of March, but I do know there wasn't a lot of writing. If you haven't already noticed, one of the other things that I did in March was return to brown. Blonde Eloise has gone away. She was too high maintenance. The true Eloise is too lazy to go get her hair done as often as was necessary. We're back, baby. I took a quick trip down to San Diego to surprise my sister for her birthday at the beginning of April. That trip was the last time I wrote anything on my manuscript. So book two of Legend of the Amazons draft one is sitting at about 12,000 words and I honestly haven't touched it since I got back from that trip. I can't really say that I'm disappointed about that. I did put myself in social media time out thinking that that was the primary reason that I wasn't writing anything. I was spending too much time scrolling on Instagram as one does. Even though I put myself in social media jail, I still didn't work on my book at all. Instead, I was doing a lot of outdoor work, yard work and preparation for springtime gardening and everything. I'm attempting to grow melons. On April 19th, I left for about a week with my husband to go on a vacation to Belize. We left our kid at home with grandma and we had a wonderful time. So in the weeks leading up to that vacation, I was working very hard outside with weeding and mulching my front yard and planting a bunch of plants, just doing a lot of manual labor that I didn't wanna to have to worry about doing when I got back from my very relaxing vacation. I returned from Belize on April 25th and spent that following week catching up on chores and then digging into my vegetable garden. So as you have probably gleaned from this video so far, I did not do a lot of writing in March and April and that is partially due to the weather, the fact that it is nice outside so I'm trying to take advantage of that and there are certain things that need to happen in the springtime that say I don't plant my vegetables on time, I'm not going to get a good harvest this year, so I needed to prioritize that. The second reason is because March was uh, a few weeks of some difficult parenting. My son is generally super easygoing, but as he's getting older, he's going through certain phases and some of those phases involve him being very argumentative, which is all normal. He's such a good kid and I love him so much and I love being his mom, but on days that he is just pushing back a lot, it takes a lot of emotional and mental energy to do the whole gentle parenting thing and not lose my mind. For a number of days in March, by the end of the day, 
I was not interested in doing anything other than sitting on the couch and watching television or something like that. With that being said, let's talk about what May and June have in store for my writing and this channel. We're already over a week into May. Again, I have spent the first part of this month really working outside on finishing up some outdoor projects. My son's fifth birthday is this month, which is pretty crazy. I went and found him a outdoor play set, so I went and bought that and put it together with the help of my dad, who is amazing. I'm just about done with all of my outdoor projects other than kind of the weeding maintenance that's going to have to keep happening over the course of the summer, which is fine. I'm going to be taking myself out of social media jail because that is obviously not the primary cause of me not writing. In March, I showed my son how to play Minecraft. So this is great news for me as a writer and as a parent because on the rainy days when I can't tell him to go outside and play, I can get him set up and he will play for hours if I let him. My son playing video games is great news for me because I can reclaim some of that time for writing. I can sit down and have some uninterrupted writing time while he's awake. Yes, set him up downstairs. All he wants to do is dig. It's, it's so cute and hilarious. So that's good news for us. More YouTube videos, more writing. I have some exciting things to share with all of my subscribers. I've got some great video ideas that I'm very excited about. We are back in business. We're focused. It's gonna be sunshine and words. I'm just gonna be sitting outside with my little laptop tip-tapping away. My biggest goal for writing is to just enjoy it and get back into doing it for fun in April, I did reach out to my editor. I had a deadline to her for September of this year between all of the things that I was doing around the house and this deadline. I was feeling some pressure. While many author tubers are aspiring to be full-time authors, I'm doing this because it's a passion project of mine. I'm not necessarily trying to make a career out of it right away. I have a full-time job. I write for fun, so if it is getting to be too much pressure and I'm feeling obligated to write, it stops being fun and I don't wanna do it anymore. So I'm trying to keep it light and that's another thing that I'm trying to prevent myself from overthinking writing and worrying too much about whether it's going to be successful or not or what readers will think because while I do want to sell my books and share it with everyone that would enjoy it, I do ultimately want to write something that I want to read. I'll be working on book two for Legend of the Amazons, but I might also dabble in a prequel kind of fantasy romance that I have on the back burner in that same kind of universe with some characters that you would be familiar with if you've read book one, focused on the gods. Some other things that are going to be happening in May, there's Mother's Day, my son's birthday is happening, so we've got a birthday party coming up. I've got some family coming into town for that. June is looking very open as far as time and energy that I can devote towards writing. Speaking of June, the AWC, the AuthorTube Writing Conference is happening, and back in February, I submitted a application to be a guest speaker for the AWC thinking there's going to be a lot of applicants. I'm a newbie, they're not gonna pick me, but you know, I want to be supportive of this really cool author event that some of my acquaintances are organizing and they're working so hard on. So yeah, I'll volunteer and I submitted an idea thinking that I was not going to get picked and then <laughs> and then I got an email saying congratulations you've been selected and my knee-jerk response was ah crap <laughs> more stuff for me to do so in May and June I am going to be focused on that project I'll share more about that with you guys on my social media and in my newsletter. Keep your eye out for that. It's a very nerdy accounting related topic. 
writing wise we're gonna be chugging away on book two and maybe this prequel as far as this youtube channel as much as i would love to post every friday i just don't have the time and energy to do it i am committing for sure two videos a month every other friday i want to throw in some live streams whether it's on my channel or me joining some of my author tube friends if i'm inspired or if i have the energy i will post more frequently i don't know we'll see keep the expectations low and you won't be disappointed <laughs> i think that's enough rambling for this week if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching you're one of my favorite people what have you been up to in the last couple months let me know in the comments down below have you been prepping for a vegetable garden this year let me know i want to see pictures i'm wild about plants and this is the time of year that they're all getting crazy thanks for joining me until next time, take care. Bye. Do you like writing? Yes, I like writing. Do you like mythology? Yes, I like mythology. Do you like my videos? Yes, I like your videos. Then what are you waiting for? Subscribe.